Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today is the first episode of the Chelton Transfer Roundup Show where I'm basically going to be taking you through all of the transfers we've made. Um, so that's new contracts, new signings and also all of the rumours that have sort of been circulating surrounding Chelton within the past week if you enjoy this type of content make sure to hit that like button and subscribe i'm going to be bringing you loads of league one championship and Charlton content throughout the season so if that interests you then make sure to subscribe i'm trying to hit 250 subscribers before the start of the season so if you could be one of those new subscribers to help me reach that goal that would be very much appreciated anyways let's get straight into episode one Let's start then with the new contracts and permanent signings that we have made this past week. Terrell Thomas's new deal, Michael Hector signed a new contract. Patrick Casey signed his first pro contract. Lloyd Jones signed a permanent and another pro contract was signed by Fiji under 21 international Josh. Let's begin then with talking about Terrell Thomas signing his new contract, which came at the start of the week he played six games as a left back for us nine games as a center back he also got himself a goal which was in that four all draw against Ipswich that magnificent game back in October 2.1 tackles per game zero errors led to goals or shots and a 50% successful dribble rate which shows that when he was playing at that left back role he wasn't afraid to take his man on and sort of get that ball forward um I think he's quite a useful depth signing for me um he looks quite good in that Welling game obviously it is National League South um, opposition he did captain the side for the second half and I think he did install himself quite well however I do not think he's ready enough to start however I would like to be proven wrong I think he's a very very talented player I think he could potentially get his chance um, obviously if we play as five back and play as a left wing back as well I think that would be quite useful but I think he's more signed as a depth signing and cover at centre back however as I said if he gets his opportunity and he proves everyone wrong then that would be great because you know, I think there is a player in there and I think he showed it after he got his chance, um, especially like against Morecambe away where he started at left back. I thought we were playing a five back and he was playing left back. Um, and yeah, that was sort of a shock for us. And I think he played quite well in that game. Obviously got himself that magnificent assist that Lieburn finished off as well. So for me, I think this is quite a good contract agreement. And I, I, I agree with Holden's decision on retaining him. Next up, then we're going to talk about Patrick Casey signing his first pro contract for the club. 42 goals last season for the under 18. So I think this was a no brainer. He's one that a lot of the academy staff are ranking very, very highly. And I was a little bit disappointed to not see him get a chance at Welling. However, with Lee Burns injury now, I think there could obviously be the chance for him to show himself within pre-season. Um, I said in the Welling away preview, he was one player that I wanted to see involved in this pre-season and see how he gets on. I think he could be quite a beneficial player for us in the future. And I think getting him tied down on a pro contract was crucial obviously he is going to be in and around the under 21s this season so this is massive for him and the next step in his career Hector signing a new deal then was probably the biggest news to come of the week and one that a lot of Charlton fans were getting a bit worried on and thinking that he was going to go somewhere else however it was finally done Michael Hector signed a new contract for us this week 2.4 tackles per game 1.1 interceptions per game 5.1 clearances per game and 65 percent of his aerial duels won he was crucial in that back line it was quite a shaky defense but you can always see one player that stood out and that was definitely him um you know any charlton fan will tell you how well he sort of played he could easily play in the top end of the championship in my opinion so i think this was a contract that we needed to get tied down and won sort of an experienced sign that could be crucial for us. And if we get promoted this season, then he's going to be an already staple part of that championship squad that we want Holden to start building towards. The only permanent signing to come of the week then was Lloyd Jones, signing on a free from Cambridge United. Now he comes in with a lot of praise from the Cambridge fans. I think he's one that would be definitely starting, especially if we do that back five, then he'll definitely be in that back free um however he is a very very good replacement for innes and he's twice the player 
that Innes is. Um, as I said, with Innes, his aerial duels was one thing that he was very, very good at. He won 72% of those last season. Lloyd-Jones won 70%. So there isn't much difference between the two. Um, the only difference is one is very hot-headed and one is not. So for me, I think Lloyd-Jones is a very, very good signing. Obviously, comes in with that League One experience. And yeah, I think this could be quite a beneficial signing for us. We needed to improve the defence. It was one area where I think both the fans and Holden knew that we needed to improve on. So I'm quite happy with this signing and I'm excited to see him get going. Finally, then on the new contracts and new signings. Um, if you did notice at the start, I said it was a new contract for Josh. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce his surname. Um, if someone in the comments could let me know how to pronounce it, that would be great. But we're just going to call him Josh L for the duration of this segment. Now, he played for Fiji at the Under-20 World Cup, just gone. He's 17 years old and was part of that Under-18 winning side last season. Obviously, the one that won the title. So for me, this is quite a good signing for us. And I'm quite happy with this contract being done obviously another one that's praised very very highly by the club and by the academy staff and even Jason Pierce has said a lot of praise towards this man so I think this is quite a good signing for us I'm hoping to see him get a bit more action for the under 21s I go to a few under 21s games so I'll be able to sort of see how he gets on in those so yeah I'll be quite happy to see him in and around the squad maybe in cup games as well give him that chance and maybe even get a chance within pre-season against Dartford this weekend. Now then, this next segment is sort of looking at the biggest rumours and news that sort of surrounded Charlton within the last week. Now, obviously, we saw a trialist feature at the Welling game, and that trialist was Chris Francis, recently released by Bournemouth. Um, now, he spent time out on loan at Weymouth last season, only made five appearances. So, not obviously not great. Um, played at the National League South level last season, but he is still young, only 20 years old. And I think this could be quite a good signing and maybe one that would be sitting in, in and around that under 21 squad. However, as we know, it's a free signing. It could be one that has a lot of potential. Um, and yeah, I think this could be quite beneficial for us. He could play as a left, he's a left footed centre off, as Holden said in his interview. I think he played reasonably well in the Welling game. I think it was difficult for him to come into a side full of sort of a mix of youngsters and first team players and one that he doesn't know anyone. So I think if he was in and around the under 21 squad and maybe sort of getting that chance to push into the first team, I think this would be quite a good signing for us. I don't think it's one that would be straight away going, yes, that is one straight away for the starting 11. That's one for the first team. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think this could be quite a beneficial player for us. It's now looking incredibly likely that Alfie May will be going to Gillingham, as reported by John Palmer, who is Cheltenham's main reporter. Now, obviously, we were leading the race, but it is all rumours, so who knows what's going to happen there. However, what's been said is that Gillingham are leading the race now, and they'll be the ones that will land his signature. Now, obviously, he's dropping down into League 2, Gillingham have money now. We all know that. Um, we didn't know they had this much money and were able to persuade a player of his calibre to drop down. If he does go to Gillingham, then that is an incredible, incredible signing for Gillingham. In League One last season, he got 22 goals in all competitions and three assists, a 25 goal and assists in all competition. He scored every 168 minutes in the league. And you think how well he'd done in League One. He's going to absolutely tear up League to if that's where he ends up that's where he ends up um obviously at the age of 30 you want to go and get where the money is calling i understand that and he's in that sort of period of his prime um so i think yeah it's a bit of a shame that we missed out on him but i know holden will have a striker signing up his sleeve louis mendez reported this week that henry lawrence was on trial with charlton the 21 year old right back spent last season on loan at MK Dons and the season before that at AFC Wimbledon. So comes off the back of two relegations, not a great CV there, but he is a Chelsea youngster, obviously a right back where we could have a bit of depth. Definitely is the sort of area we need like a bit of cover for Egbo and a bit of competition for him. And I think this could be quite beneficial as he comes with two years of League One experience as well. And at the age of 21, has that 
sort of experience already is incredible. And I think this could be quite beneficial for us. And one depth signing that we need, I don't think he'll be one that will be starting straight away. But definitely as a depth signing, this would be quite good for us, obviously on a free. So yeah, I'd be quite happy with this. And hopefully we get to see him feature against Dartford this weekend. Finally, then the last story to finish us off this week is Idris El Mazzouni has been linked with a move to Charlton. Now, it would be a loan move from Ipswich and if we can get him on a permanent, even better. But I think a loan is looking more likely. Richard Cowley obviously reported this this week and Stuart Watson talking about it as well. So, El Mazzouni comes from Ipswich and he had a season on loan at Leighton Orient last season. So he had a bit of promotion experience with them and winning the league in League Two last season. Um, I think this would be quite a good signing for us. Played 21 games at DM, 19 at centre mid for Leighton Orient in all competitions. Got himself five goal involvements as well. Kieran McKenna said um, on Saturday that... They are looking for the right move for El Mazzouni. However, Holden came out and said he doesn't want to talk about any players. He said a lot of things are going on behind the scenes. However, he doesn't want to talk about any interest and talk about other teams' players, which I think is totally respectful. I think this would be quite a good sign for us. We obviously need a midfielder. And I go a little bit more in depth on him in yesterday's video where I looked at free signings that Cholton should be making. So if you want to check that out, there'll be a link at the end of this video but yeah i think this would be quite a good signing for us if you have enjoyed this video then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe these episodes will be coming out every single monday throughout the transfer window so if you have enjoyed it then let me know in the comments down below let me know who you want cholton to sign and any rumors that you've seen and i'll touch on them next week thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one